Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Learning to Listen. Um, I'm there, and I'm with my friend Linda, and we are here to uh, just talk about the Lord this morning. We've kind of, we always sit and we discuss and we pray before we start every time and say, Lord, what's on your heart? Uh, what is it that you want to say to people? Um, what is it that you want to say to us? Because to be honest, Linda and I, we need to hear from the Lord too. You know, it, it's mm -hmm. uh, definitely um, not something that, that we're only doing for you, but that we are doing for ourselves too, as we kind of journey together. And yes, so it, it's an interesting season, right, Linda, that we're in. Yes. I feel yeah, tough season. It is a tough season. And it's, you know, with everything that's going on in the world and <clears throat> my family and I were walking through some things with some people over the past week and it's just been something but you know in the midst of all this God is still faithful That's he is still no matter what is going on in Afghanistan no matter what's going on in the with the pandemic no matter what's going on in our culture no matter what's going on in our um in in the nations on the earth in our nation um no matter what's going on God is still God. He is. He is. And he never changes. Mm. Yeah, he is. He is our faithful God. And, you know, I was reminded of the song, Great is Thy Faithfulness, that you all know. And, and that song was, we sang it at uh, my husband and I's wedding. Um, we got married. We're coming up for 25 years. Um, and we said, oh, Great is Thy Faithfulness, because God had been so faithful to us at that point point and 25 years later he is still faithful and kind of as we were praying that song came to me great is thy faithfulness and it says there is no shadow of turning with thee um, thou changest not thy compassions they fail not yes. great is thy faithfulness lord unto me and he is he doesn't change god stays the same what happens in our world changes uh, on a consistent uh, daily basis we know change is inevitable we are up one day we're down the next we're busy one day we're quiet the next we're grieving yes. one day we're joyful the next but God doesn't change. There is no changing with our father. He is the same. Yeah. And because of it, I'm looking up some, um, a scripture right now because of his faithfulness. Um, we can trust him in the midst of what's going on right now. I think this, what comes back to mind is the Israelites when they were, um, when, when the plagues were being, um, the 10 plagues over um, Egypt and how God protected the Israelites. He, he, you know, they had to put the blood on their doors and stuff. And um, he, he was with them. He was with them in the midst of all of that. And in the midst of what we're walking through in our world, God promises he is faithful. He is with us. Yes. And um, he remains the same. He does remain the same. Yeah. I'm looking at the scripture right now. It says second Timothy and second Timothy two 13. Even if we are faith, faithless, he remains faithful yeah. because he cannot disown himself. Oh, I love that. Yes, absolutely. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, you know, that consistency is the key. Linda, when we were praying this morning, she said, God, you are consistent. And so even when we are not consistent and I don't read my Bible for three days in a row, God is still consistent. God yes, is, he faithful. is. He remains faithful to us. And I'm so thankful for that because I know that, that I could never be um, faithful and consistent the way that God is, but I know I can come to my loving father at any time. And he is still the same. He is the same. He is consistent. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So when we're hearing the things that are going on in our world and, you know, fear can rise up mm -hmm. fear, not knowing what our future holds, not knowing, you know, if, 
what's going to happen um, from day to day even. Mm -hmm. um, he is the rock that stays and he is, um, uh, he's our strong tower. In mm -hmm. Psalm 91, it says we can run to him. Yeah. He's our strong tower. He is, um, he is who we can run to and be in his arms and be in a place of um, faith, a place of where we don't have to walk in fear, Absolutely. where we don't have to, because if we can um, go, like I've said, and like we've talked about in earlier podcasts, if we can go against the tide of fear in our that's in our culture right now, that's in the atmosphere everywhere right now, worldwide. And we walk in peace, mm -hmm. then we can affect things around us, people mm -hmm. around us, mm -hmm. and we can encourage people around us. And mm -hmm. so knowing that God is with us, knowing that, you know, in Psalm 23 he says, even through the valley of the shadow of death, he is with us. That's right. And so in the midst of, what's happening in our world today where we do have that strong tower. We do have the father that we can run to and he is with us yeah. and he is consistent. He is faithful. Yeah, that's right. He is our firm foundation. Like the word of God mm -hmm. says that he is our firm foundation. He is the solid rock on which we stand and he holds us in the palm of his hand you know and and I was I was thinking of um, something that happened to me in my childhood was um, my dad was not a consistent man he could flip from um, anger to joy in in a second um, he was very moody very up and down like this and and I remember as a child I, I would stand at the corner of the room and I'd watch him and I'd wait to see is he in a good mood is he in a bad mood should I even go in the room and um, so I'd wait and I'd watch and there would be a fear that would rise up in me and then as I grew older I realized that my loving father is is consistent he is always happy to see me he is always joyful when I walk in the room he is always there with a hug no matter what I've done uh, and I mean I did some pretty bad things I probably warranted some of that one <laughs> kind of mood my dad was in at the door you know um, but my Abba father is always happy to see me he always has a smile on his face he is consistent he is consistent he stays the same he is faithful we can stand on that that is one surety that we yes. absolutely have and that we can stand on is that he is always good he always stays the same he will always take care of us like linda said we know we can run into him and be taken care of yeah mm -hmm. absolutely i love that yeah there's <clears throat> there's something about his his consistency even when we're not, excuse me, I should have left that alone. Um, even when we're not, we're, um, we are, we can trust that, you know, I keep getting this picture of this solid, this tower, you know, you think of a tower, mm. a concrete tower cannot be moved. A concrete tower cannot be, um, mm -hmm. um, it, it's, it's just, it's there. And yeah. that's, how God is. Yes. And um, I love the fact that we can, we can go to him. Um, and to what you were sharing earlier, I remember seeing a movie called Anna and the King. Yes. And in the midst of <clears throat> um, the, uh, of the movie uh, of the King having in this movie, the King was having meetings with some of the, some of the people in his some kind of big meetings and his daughter would just run in to see him and he would just stop everything yeah. and, and take time with her mm -hmm. and all these dignitaries and things were, you know, people were there, but he still, and that's how God is with us. Love that. You know, beautiful um, it is a beautiful picture yeah. of him, of how he sees us. Yeah. And, you know, even in our, even in our dirty places, even in our, um, where we're not faithful, where we're not consistent, where we're not, you know, knowing that he will be there for us no matter what, and he will be there with us no matter what. 
yeah. is yeah. what we need more in this day and time. We need to experience that. Mm-hmm. We need to understand that. We need to know that. Yeah. Absolutely. And I think we do, we need to come to that place where we know, where we are so sure that God loves us, that shame, that there is nothing that can separate us from the love of God. There is nothing that I can do, nothing that you can do, Linda, nothing that any of you watching can do that can separate you from the love of God. He is always there and he will always take care of you. And he is faithful. He is faithful through the ages. He is faithful to the end of time. And there's a scripture that, let me see if I can find it, um, that I had found this morning. And it's in Isaiah. And it says, even to your old age and gray hairs, which I'm getting some, I (laughs) am he I am he who will sustain you. I have made you and I will carry you. I will sustain you and I will rescue you, which is such a beautiful, beautiful um, scripture, knowing that he's going to carry us. He's going to rescue us when we need to be rescued. He will sustain us even to our old age. We Mm -hmm. have that promise that he will take care of us. Yeah, absolutely. I think that it's important to know that, um, I mean, I have to know these things, not to just try to believe them or try to, um, it's, it's important to know this in your heart and live it, experience it. Mm-hmm. Um, I was listening, I was at a um, concert, a worship concert this weekend. And one of the things that the, the past, one of the pastors said really struck me. And what he said was, if your life has not changed, if nothing has changed inside of you, if you're not wanting to talk about the Lord, then you really have not experienced him Mm -hmm. because it's that connection that we have with him, with the word, taking the word inside of us, believing it, understand, Mm -hmm. believing it and um, living it that will make us, um, be able to walk in the days and times that we're coming into and that we're in and that we're going to be coming into. And even in circumstances in our lives that we're going to be able to walk in those places, knowing that our father is with us. Ladies, this is something that is paramount. We have to know that God is with us in the midst of whatever we're walking through. We have to believe and know it's not just believing that believing in the sense of I'm going to believe I'm going to believe it's a knowing there's Mm -hmm. a there's something coming there's something beyond believing and it's a knowing knowing that you're that that your God is with you and I I haven't always known that I haven't always understood that I haven't always believed even believed that and um when I when there was when it whenever I was in those places of not uh, situations the um of and not knowing that God was with me it just brought on so much fear and and mm-hmm. insecurity and and um just not living life mm-hmm. full of joy yeah. and um <clears throat> so it's important in these days and times that we get nose to nose with the father mm-hmm. Absolutely. We cannot see him clearly today, but we can see him. Yeah. We can be with him. Yeah. We can, it, um, we, it, it takes our part in getting to know him That's exactly. through his word yeah. and spending time with him and, and um, hearing his voice. Yeah. Absolutely. And I think, you know, kind of comes back to what we have been saying um, for so many of these podcasts, you know, draw near to me and I will draw near to you. You know, if we, they that wait on him will renew their strength. And even in the, in the song of Solomon, it says, let him kiss me with the kisses of his mouth. And it all comes back to you have a part to play. I have to play. I have to wait on him. 
Yes. I have to draw close to him and he will draw close to me. So that's my part. And so many of these promises in the word of God, there is, there is a part that we have to play. We have to sit. We have to sit and wait on him. We have to take that time. And it's good to take that time now before we're in crisis so that yes. we have those things built into us over yes. and over again. And even, you know, if it seems like we say the same things over and over again, we need that in our lives. We need mm -hmm. consistency in our lives. We need to be consistent. We need to wait on him. We need to draw close to him and let him draw close to us so that when the crisis comes, when those hard times come, then we have that foundation to stand on. And it has become something that is settled in our hearts that we know that we know that we know that God is with us that God will sustain us that God is for us and not against us that he is our rock that he is that strong tower that we can run into and when we sit with him even if it's just that 15 minutes a day then by the time crisis comes we we will know we will know my God is with me. Therefore, I cannot fail. We cannot fail. He will carry me through this. That will be something that just settles. So that's what I would encourage us to do this week. You know, just wait on him. Just spend 15 minutes even getting that sure, solid foundation built into you. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Ladies, we can't talk about this enough that how important it is to get to know your God, yeah. to get to know, to take that time. It's, it's like, it's like food for our souls. Mm -hmm. We can't do without food for our physical bodies. We can't do without the food of the word, the, the uh, spirit without that time with, with the Lord. Mm -hmm. And especially um, in the times that we're coming in, we have to know who our God is. That's right. And, and so, you know, just like Claire said, our encouragement to you is to be sure that you are doing what you have to do to take that time consistently. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it isn't it isn't a being a religious thing. It isn't a mm -hmm. um, it, it's it's more like um, we have to have something to stand on That's in these right. days and times. Yeah, yeah. And I remember we we talked with a lady uh, through um, a ministry that Claire is involved in, um, met a lady from Egypt. Her name is Hane. And we were talking to her about what they go through. And one of the things that she said was, do not pray that we don't go through these things. Pray that we go through them well. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that is, that, that marked me. That was like, you know, I would pray to get out of the situations oh, at the time, absolutely. you know, yeah. but I understand, you know, yeah. we're coming into times and we're going to be, the Lord said, we're going to have tribulation in this world. We're going to have hard times in this world, but be of good cheer. The only way that we can do that is to get to know our God. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I can't hound on this enough is that it is important that we get to know him. Yeah. And so, you know, I know for a bit of time in my walk, um, that time was like, well, I, I've got so many other things to do. I just can't really oh. take that time. And it makes you weak. It yeah. really does make you weak because you don't know who you don't know your God. Mm -hmm. And so I just can't say it enough mm. yeah. to take that time. Absolutely. I mean, the scripture says, they that wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. They will run and not grow weary and they will walk and not faint. So when you wait on the Lord, the rest of your day falls into place. You can run through your day. You will not grow weary in it. So it's worthwhile time spent with the Lord. And I kind of thought too, you know, as we were talking, I just, I saw a picture of a house and a wall being built. And how do you build a wall? Will you build it brick upon brick upon brick? upon brick until you have that house but you have to build it brick upon yes. brick and then houses in Africa where I'm from 
they are made of bricks. They are solid. They are solid houses that are built to stand forever. And that's what you have with the Lord. You know, when you are memorizing one scripture or you're just meditating on that one scripture or you're spending time praying with the Lord, you're just putting on another brick and another brick until you have that solid house that cannot be um, knocked down, you know, and that kind of think of the the story of the three little pigs, you know, the one was straw and the one was, what was the one? Straw and hay. Oh my, yes. Or twigs and brick. But <laughs> it could be blown down. That's kind of the point, you know, we cannot build our lives out of hay and stubble. We have to build it on a solid foundation, on the word of God, on prayer, on worship. Ladies, get into your worship. Um, yes. You know, if you're feeling down, if you're feeling hopeless, and I know I've been feeling that this week, just down, you know, so many people are struggling and, and you we all know of somebody who has passed away or something has happened. And when those time comes, just remember worship music. Remember, just turn that on and just let the word of God wash over you, whether it's in song or, um, and that is what will strengthen you. That is what will strengthen you for the fight because it is a fight. It is a battle. Yeah, absolutely. That's right. And we need to have that strength because there are going to be other people who will need us. That's true. There's always going to be people who will, who will need what we have. Yeah, yeah. And so it is so important for us to build it. It's mm -hmm. so important for us to build that relationship with the father, with mm -hmm. the Lord yeah. and know him and, um, and under, understand where, who we are in him mm -hmm. and walk in that fully. And so, you know, as we, as we're um, talking, I just um, feel like that our, again, our challenge is to, is just to be sure to take that time just to get to know him. If that's, if you're, if you're in a place where you're not sure, if you're in a place of fear, ask the Lord who he is in that place. Yeah. Yeah. Ask him to show you who he is in that place mm -hmm. of fear, because we're always going to need him. We're always, there's always areas in our life you may be taking time with the Lord every day. You may know God every day, but there are going to be places in your life where you don't know him. Yeah. So when, when fear rises, whenever, whatever rises, um, go to the Lord in that place and take that to him and, and get to know him in that place. Yeah. And when you see him in that place of fear, it will go, it will go. Amen. And yeah. so um, we just want to take some, time i think we're coming to the end of our time yeah i think so i think we probably are so we would like to pray for you for sure and um you know i'm thankful that every morning you get a clean slate i get to start again linda gets to start again you get yes. to start again so you, if, you, if you're feeling dry if you haven't sat with the lord in a few weeks that's okay you have a yeah. clean slate you can start again he is consistent he will be glad to see you when you stop by, when you pop in. Um, always happy, always a smile on his face to see you. Yes. Let's pray. Yes. Right. yes. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are that consistent God who is always happy to see us. When we walk in the room, Lord, you have the biggest smile. And just like Linda said with Anna and the King, you stop whatever it is you're doing. Father, you could be making a new star or you could be building a mountain, but Lord, you're going to stop and you're going to smile and you're going to take time for us because you are happy to see us. And we are the most important things in the world to you, to the extent that you gave your son. You gave your son for us. Yes. We are yours, Lord Jesus, and we are so thankful. We are so thankful that we are yours. And so this morning, Lord, I pray for every person listening to this, Lord Jesus, that they yes. would know your faithfulness, that they yes, would God. know that you are that strong tower that they can run into, that they would know in times of crisis that you are right there. Yes. Right there. All they have to do is close their eyes. You're right there, Lord Jesus, with them. Yes. Lord. For every woman on here today, Lord, that is going through crisis, I pray you would show yourselves in that situation. Yes. Show them who you are. Show yes. them who you are, Lord Jesus. 
bring comfort where comfort is needed, bring encouragement where encouragement is needed. Father, wipe away every tear from their eyes, Lord God. Strengthen them, strengthen them, make them strong, yes, Lord Jesus, so that they will be able to run and not grow weary in this season that we're in, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Encourage our hearts. Encourage our hearts. We love you, Lord. We love yes, you God. and we worship you. Yes, Lord. You are yes, worthy Lord. and that never changes. You are worthy of our praise. And so we pray blessing upon every person listening as they go about their day. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Well, thank, thank you, you for, for joining us. Yeah. Thank you, ladies. All we'll right. see you, you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.